There's a place way in the upper Chesapeake Bay where fishermen go for the chance to catch giants. They say true trophy fisher up there. But the fishing hasn't always been so good in this area we call Susquehanna Flats. Only recently has life at the flats been coming back. So why the change? To answer that question, you have to look beneath the surface where a vast underwater jungle grows from the seabed. We know that big fish feed on little fish, and little fish find cover in these underwater grasses. We also know that the grass bed at the flats was gone for a long time, but over the last few years, it reappeared. With the return of the grasses came the little fish, the big fish, and the good fishing. But what we don't know is why the underwater grass bed suddenly came back. That's where I come in. My name is Cassie Gerbis, and I'm a grad student at University of Maryland. I work for Dr. Michael Kemp, a scientist here, investigating potential reasons behind the underwater grass resurgence. This summer, our mission was to take a snapshot of the plant bed's vital signs to see if we could find any clues about why the plants came back. Just like doctors use equipment to measure our pulse and blood pressure, we deployed instruments in the grass bed to look at the health of the ecosystem. We also measured things that can affect the plant bed's health, like the clarity of the water. Since plants need sunlight to photosynthesize, the amount of light that penetrates through the water is very important. One thing we're finding is that the plant bed actually seems to clear up the water around it. As currents move across the bed, the water slows down and sediment particles that are floating around tend to sink. This means that the plants themselves are engineering their environment in a way that improves their own growth. We call this a positive feedback. And there's a good chance that positive feedbacks helped this grass bed grow. We think that once some plants were able to get established, those positive feedbacks kicked in and cleared up the water inside the plant bed. Then as the tide fell each day, some of that clear water spilled out beyond the plant bed allowing more light to reach the bottom so that new plants could grow and the bed could get bigger. As grass cover expanded, those trophy fish returned to their feeding ground at the flats and the dreams of the fishermen once again had a chance of coming true.